Hello, I'm Fine Tanker Strigard. Now today uh, I will present you uh, the basics of C++ programming chapter 3 part 2 uh, iteration looping repetition statements under control statements section uh, what is it and the theoretical concept and it is practical session we will cover both uh, two uh, uh, sessions now uh, from the beginning what is control statement as we discussed in the previous video conscious statement is the first one the second one is iteration looping statement and the third one is jumping statement now i prepare three uh, videos for the first one conscious statements i already upload now today's uh, session is iteration and the third jumping statement is i will uh, prepare and upload next session now from the two dice video we only focus the iteration looping repetition statements good uh, iteration or looping statements is a record repeatedly value statement or a whole block of statements with increment decrement of some data in order to arrive at a result repeated evaluation of statements is called iteration and recursion however iteration is uh, a looping so now today we will uh, see detail what iteration or looping statement is mean now c++ provides several types of iteration statements from this the first one is uh, for loop and the second one is a while loop statement and the third one is the do while loop statement so based on their um, scenario or depends on the problems of you uh, uh, so you want to solve it have its own advantage and disadvantage and uh, uh, both of the series statements have the same function to repeatedly execute some block of core blocks or body of statements enclosed by a certain or uh, br a closed brace good now for the first time or the first uh, uh, repetitive statement uh, or um, types of uh, loop is a for loop statement for loop iterates a section of C++ codes or under a fixed block of statements or lines of codes and for the loop runs as long as test condition is true test condition is true it runs again and again until the condition becomes false for uh, example as you see this block diagram for uh, for loop uh, expression so previous statement in the program may be uh, above this and from this line there may be initialization of some variables and this is the condition that you want to check if this condition throughs or satisfies the given condition then the execution of the code under that block of uh, square brace is executed until it throughs and this uh, block of code executed and update some variable of this um, uh, the variables found under this condition so then finally it executes again and again tests the condition again and again finally when the condition becomes false the execution terminates are automatically out of breaks and out of the brace and go to the termination of the execution or the statement so this looks like what how for loop works so for int condition increment or decrement as you see this and then some statement is executed for example uh, this is some uh, for loop statement is for example print numbers found between one uh, so routine stands output solution using for loop include int main and counter or increments or some value of a variable for counter equals to one counter less than equal to ten counter plus plus see out counter we will see this in practical session using uh, my code uh, block ide and then uh, the second one for loop how it works is counter first initialized using this uh, for uh, cure then the counter the condition checks here and increment is the uh, value of uh, the counter then update some variable under uh, the condition that it satisfies so uh, this is how it uh, works for example as you see here 
using the MCST D in the main for in A uh, and I is equals to 1 up to I less than or equal to 100 I plus plus if I modulus 2 equals equal to 0 means even if the value of I is even see out I when uh, we will see it in practical session also then the second one is a while loop a statement as you see here the diagram test here there is a statement again test the condition if true test uh, statement is executed then if the uh, test is false it is out of the condition automatically syntax while contract expression statement the, it implies the statement following it will be carried out as long as the condition expression evolved is true that means it is more than zero uh, for example, while i less than or equal to n, sum is equal to sum plus i, uh, post increment, by the way, this is post increment, uh, then see what, sum 0 to 10 is sum. The, this also uh, included under my practical session. Mm. Okay, let us uh, open the core block here, and we will uh, see the in practical uh, together okay then the process is repeated again and again until i is equals to 10 because if i is equals to 10 it also works but if i plus 10 plus 1 11 i 11 less than 10 false yes it is automatically out of the brace so after the loop is sum over the uh, the total sum is 55 will printed Problem uh, continued uh, using while loop int main int counter counter equals to 1 counter less than or equal to 10 counter uh, plus plus return 0. Well, that's the same problem. I will see, show you this practical decision the same as that of uh, the previous one. Um, I stand uh, start from 1 up to 10 until the condition is true. The output also displays the value of i. If i is 11 11 less than or equal to 10 it is false yes 10 it is false so the con the execution is out of the press and return this one return zero good then the next one also calculate the average of five numbers using this the follow the average int number count zero sum zero from the beginning and while count less than five See out enter the number see in number sum is equal to sum plus number see out counter plus plus until uh, counter equal to five if counter is equal to five five less than five false yes then it is automatically out of this place and calculates the next statement or uh, the next um, execution or line of code so so yeah from here and so the average of this five number is uh, this value average value then return zero good so the next one is what will be the output of this for example counter equals one counter is on five right so i love ice cream counter plus plus until i is equal counter is equals to five it displays five times I love you. I love ice cream. Five times. Counter one seven, counter two seven, three, four, five scanners. Display other goal martin. What about this one also? Counter uh, is equal to zero while counter is on five. See out. I love you. What's the difference by the way? Mm, from here counter plus plus. But here there is no counter plus. So this is uh, once printed, once first time, then counter is zero, so counter is on five. Uh, actually, it is uh, non uh, terminated running time, there is an error because counter should be uh, increment or some uh, um, condition set to terminate this uh, while loop because if zero always zero the execution is uh, unlimited time or non terminated loop so counter should be counter should be as uh, here uh, incremented counter yes 
counter plus plus is necessary here unless the execution is unterminated loop good then the third one the dual statement as you see here in short from this uh, uh, expression or graph do cured here do start the first body of st uh, the bodies of the statements under this blocked uh, brace uh, whatever the condition it has so first time single statement or compound statement is maybe executed but the do cured executes this uh, block of statement is first time or as the first time then check the condition check the condition and while cured uh, here check the condition if the condition is true it goes to this and starts the execution again and again until this condition is false so if this condition becomes false then the execution of this block of uh, statements or body of uh, codes or line of codes uh, is uh, automatically break and out of this break and continues the uh, execution of the program the next line of the while loop i think it is clear good um, as you see here this as an example uh, include a uh, string dotage in the main and counter counter is equal to one see out counter counter plus plus do i look while counter less than or equal to 10 return zero first time loop body here is executed executed first time before checking the condition then check the condition executed here one loop of the body then check the condition the second task if this condition is true go back to the body of the statement third third task until it falls it becomes the condition false the execution is continue if the condition is false automatically it terminates or out of the condition or the body of the statement and stops the execution this is what it looks like for example if counter is equal to 11 11 from 1 up to 1 up to 11 11 the condition is true so the execution is um, continue if i is equal to 11 the condition is false and terminates the program good i will show in practical uh, using code block for uh, the sum of any number of integer entered by the user int number sum zero car loop response do enter the number c number sum equals sum plus number see out do you want to do again yes if you press the character yes or no see in loop response if or while loop response is equal to equal to y or the entire character is y the sum is also calculated again and again if this uh, condition is true back to while loop. Uh, this press and continuous execution if this is false out of y different from this character then the value of this is printed and out of or stop us the loop execution good i will show you in practical print lower case alphabet car is equals a do counter search c plus plus car plus plus while car less than or equal to z continue this unless if differs from this stop or terminate the execution while versus do while in the main counter counter as you see here the condition is test here the condition is test here before the body of the uh, statement or block of code uh, before execution of the block block of code but here block of code is executed before condition is checked the difference here counter is equal to one counter is equal to one no difference next condition is check here but the condition is check in case of word while loop at the end of the block of the statement is executed this is the difference for what while loop versus while loop is different from in while loop the condition is executed uh, checked first but in the while loop the condition is executed 
after the block of the code is uh, executed one time then next time the condition is checked it this is the difference what it looks like good uh, then the next one is then the next one is uh, in pra practical session up to this thank you to watching this video then the next one is the practical session uh, open uh, your core block and open an existing pro uh, project already just this is uh, this part of the project uh, in case of uh, uh, limitation of time just I already show you the written code how it looks like in me first you enter the preprocessor input output a stream file header file then add the using namespace as it is standard namespace in the library then in the main this is the main function that you want to do uh, that uh, it allows you to execute or run the program any function that didn't have main function it is not runnable i think it's a skill in order to run a program main function it should be included so the main function is the first one and sum equals to i zero i is equals to one this is the declaration of variables as we, uh, we know variable is declared uh, using uh, characters or numbers or using uh, underscore sign so the sum and i is a variable and assign the value zero and one while sorry uh, it is better to charge my laptop mm. and continue our uh, presentation practical session good Bye. yes so uh, it looks like how it works uh, the practical uh, session uh, I will put all uh, uh, codes of this uh, laboratory on the description box uh, and uh, you can run by your own uh, because you should be uh, first include or download and install code block IDE uh, to uh, practice this C++ program so uh, this is all about the while loop, the for loop, and the do while loop. This is the while loop. This is the while loop, and this is the for loop. How it works? Uh, please run and see what it looks like. Then uh, the next one is this is the do while loop. Uh, how it uh, works? Uh, you can uh, read more and uh, search more but it is clear uh, if you uh, follow this video uh, by your own you can practice uh, uh, and the next one is uh, the jumping statement it is not necessary for you at this time so the only uh, practical session uh, covered by this uh, chapter 3 part 2 control statement under control statement is iteration iter activity or in uh, continuous looping statement is the three basic uh, looping statements for loop while loop and do while loop in c plus plus thank you for today's uh, video please like share subscribe my video thank you again and again please